Hey guys, Mr. Tweet here. Uh, so we've got two big concepts we've got to talk about. Um, the first big concept that we have to talk about is scarcity because scarcity is what drives everything. Um, it's going to come up again and again and again in economics that eventually when we get to macroeconomics and we start talking about society decisions, even when we talk about those, you know, nationwide or society wide decisions that have to be made, they have to be made because of scarcity that we don't have enough resources to just give everybody what they want. Um, and so that means we're gonna have to pick and choose and we're going to have to decide who's going to get what with our resources. Um, are you going to get some of your wants fulfilled? Um, most of your wants fulfilled, none of your wants fulfilled. Um, you know, that's a question because of scarcity that if we had unlimited resources, we could all have everything we wanted and we wouldn't have to pick and choose, but we don't. Um, you know, if nothing else, we've got a limited amount of time on this planet and that clock is ticking, whether you like it or not. And, um, that's, you know, one of the most scarce resources we have is that time and what we're going to do with it. So have to make choices because of scarcity. Um, and then when you, when you kind of dig into that idea of tin stoffel and there is no such thing as a free lunch, um, you, you begin to kind of start analyzing those choices that are made. And you might ask a question and say like, well, what is the choice that's being made here? Um, when Mr. Tweet chooses to take me to lunch, um, is the choice, you know, is it, you know, is, is the cost I get lunch that somebody else doesn't? He could have taken someone else, but couldn't he take two people to lunch? So then is the cost of him taking just me to lunch, is the cost him taking me and someone else to lunch? Or is the cost the, you know, that the resources that I get to eat that, you know, the person who was standing in line behind me, maybe they wanted that same sandwich, but they didn't get that one. I got that one. They got the next one. Is that where the cost is? Or is the cost that, you know, if I didn't have Mr. the sandwich that Mr. Tweet was going to buy me, I was going to eat macaroni and cheese at home. So by eating the sandwich, I'm giving up the macaroni and cheese. Is that the cost, right? But maybe I would have just got home and eaten the macaroni and cheese anyways. So maybe the, you know, the choice is like sandwich and macaroni and cheese versus just macaroni and cheese. There's lots of different ways to look at it. So we're going to have to have some sort of systematic approach. And that's where opportunity cost comes in. That we're going to have to have, you know, as we look at our choices systematically, we're going to need vocabulary to describe the various options that we have. And so that's where trade-offs comes in. Trade-offs are all of the different options that we have. And then opportunity cost is the next best choice or the last alternative that we gave up or whatever else we would have picked if we didn't make our choice. So if we're picking between A, B, C, D, and E, and if we narrow it down to B or C, I think those are the two best, and I decide to go with C, then B was my opportunity cost, right? All of the options, A, B, C, D, and E, they're all trade-offs, right? And I choose C, then B is my opportunity cost because that's what I would have picked if it wasn't C. My answer wasn't C. So that's trade-offs and opportunity costs. I'll tell you right now, trade-offs not popping up on the AP test. It never does. It's you know slightly different for different professors. Um, in some cases, you know, does the choice count as a trade-off or not? Some professors will say yes, some will say no, doesn't matter. Trade-offs is just a generic vocabulary term that just means all of the different options that we have. Opportunity cost has a super specific definition that you need to know because it comes up on the AP test. Opportunity cost is the last choice that you gave up. It's the other thing that you would have picked. So that if you didn't take AP Econ, right, then the opportunity cost is whatever you gave up to take AP Econ, taking college prep econ with everyone, right? Or if you know you decide. If it's 11 o'clock at night and you're trying to decide, should I go to bed, right? Your trade-offs are all of the different things that you could do. You can maybe chat with your friends. You can maybe watch something on Netflix. You could um, do some homework. You could go to sleep. Those are all of your options. If you choose to go to sleep, then your opportunity cost is what you would have done if you didn't go to sleep, right? If I didn't go to sleep, I would have watched a show on Netflix. So that's my opportunity cost, all right? So that's opportunity cost in scarcity, 
two really big concepts. To help us understand those, we have trade-offs, we have tin stoffel, there is no such thing as a free lunch, but those are kind of smaller concepts, concepts to help us understand the bigger ones. Scarcity and opportunity costs are the two big things you need to know from this section. All right, take care.